So here we are on the beautiful long beaches of Aranang, with all the iconic boats and islands. This could be one of the last times I'm on the beach for my entire trip, so I'm going to make the most of it. The mountains and coconut trees make for quite a magnificent sight as I walk through the national park to another beach. The weather's starting to reach around 40 degrees now, the hottest month being April, and it's always sunny. So I decided to swim over to that stack over there, which has got a climbing rope on the other side of it, which is so much fun. Don't ask how, but I ended up managing to lose my swimming shorts, so getting back to the beach was good fun. And then I had to get through town. So this is me walking through town in what I call a tea skirt. Okay, another day at the beach, went right over to the other side there, swam around the islands, went to the sandbars at low tide. There's even a forest on the beach, would be great for camping and barbecues. And there's the school kids having lunch on the beach, can't be a bad life, can it? How to check out this sidewalk, I mean, how trippy is that? This evening I went to get a cash on a steamroller and then I saw the storm coming over the mountains, which looked amazing. Okay, so now it's time to make my way north. I'm going to stop in Rangorn tonight and then make my way into Myanmar tomorrow. So here is my bedroom. I actually got the price down from 450 down to 250, which is the price of a hostel, and I end up with a private bed and a TV and a mirror. Check it out. Quick look around town. Wasn't a lot going on except for a little fairground. But I managed to get some chocolate cake though. Okay, so getting to Myanmar is a pain in the ass. You can't research anything online, you can't book anything online. So I had to get a bus, then I had to walk, then I had to get a taxi, then I had to find the immigration office, then I had to print my documents, then I had to get a long tail, then I had to find the other immigration office, then I had to get a taxi, then I had to get a bus, then I had to get another bus, and then I had to walk. Ooh. So this kind of reminds me of a cross between Falmouth Estuary and Loch Ness. And then this is the bus up to Yangon. We had the same driver getting on as we did getting off, and this was a 29-hour straight-through journey. So I hope it swaps somewhere during the night, otherwise that's a hell of a shift. <laughs> 